I've spoken a fair amount about posting daily on social media and sometimes doing it more than that, especially if you're a small business or even a large business, entrepreneur, freelancer, basically anyone, utilize all the social media outlets. You don't have to use all of them, but use at least some of them to your advantage. But there is one thing a lot of people are missing out on, and I don't quite understand why, because I've said this like a couple of years ago, I think, and I'm saying it again now. When it comes to social media, there is another form of outlet or another form of content you can put out there that so many people are not doing. I'm talking about video content. And I don't just mean long form YouTube videos like what I'm doing right now. I'm talking about short form as well. And yeah, I know right now you're going to say, yeah, you're talking about TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram reels and all of that. No. Well, yes, I am talking about that, but I'm trying to get you to strategize to make it work for you and your business. Look, just bear with me on this, okay? You may be selling uh, T-shirts or apples and bananas. You may have accommodation you rent out. You may have cars that you sell. You may sell courses or web design services or search engine optimization. What I'm talking about, you can do for almost any business out there. It's a form of connecting and also creating engagement and conversations with your potential users, clients, and people out there, your followers, your viewership. Look, let's say you're renting out accommodation, okay? And I see this on lots of websites. They might have a description of the room. They might even have a floor plan. What seems to be really popular is where you have a 3D walkthrough. And it might either be a video that automatically plays or, you know, when you click the arrows and it takes you through to different rooms, they're quite popular on accommodation websites. Even car websites, right? They'll have like videos or you can spin the car around and get a 360. What's really missing is actual video content. And I don't just mean on your website. You could take a 30 second, one minute video if you want that where you actually walk through the property and you talk about it maybe, or you talk about the car, or maybe you're selling a course and you talk about the benefits of it, or maybe you just talk and show off like what you're currently doing today. You could be out shopping. You might be getting a brand new computer or a microphone for your office or your setup or whatever, or a new webcam. You could do a video about that, but you need to pivot to start using visual content in the form of video. Because just doing sliders and carousels on LinkedIn only gets you so far. Sometimes we don't have all the time in the world to read really long lists, right? But there's a higher chance that if a video is already playing and something happens in that video, there might be some visual stimuli, there might be a phrase, there might be like a B-roll or a bit of footage, something that just grabs our attention. We may be a bit more inclined to watch. And it doesn't matter if you're on Twitter, LinkedIn, anything like that. You could start posting. Now, you don't have to do it every day. But if you were to start mixing up your social media posts with some video content, it's the greatest form of promotion that you could be doing where you could connect with people. Because we see so much written lists all the time. Hey, I've got a product that does XYZ. Hey, come on, buy this. Yeah, this is going to change your life. But maybe someone actually demonstrating what the product does, the benefits, how it makes them feel. Because Google is the biggest search engine in the world, okay? As of this moment in time, okay, it's the biggest. The second biggest is YouTube. You know, well, I know I know, and I hope you know as well, that if I have a problem, I tend to go to search, but I'm more likely to click on a video. So you know when you go to Google or wherever and you go, um, how do I fix this radiator? Or maybe you need to understand the problem better. Or maybe you've heard about a bit of an innovation. You know, oh, there's a brand new chat GPT AI thing coming out and it's going to change the world. And you go into a search for it, okay, because you didn't have a link from elsewhere. And you will get some blog posts and stuff come through. But if there's like a couple of videos and I... I like the thumbnail looks good and it, you know, I might even recognize who's talking about it. Or maybe it's a video that's just come out in the last 24 hours. I'm probably going to go and click it and watch it. It could even be an old video, by the way. The time it was released doesn't really matter too much unless it's five years old and I might skip it. But I might go and watch it. And the amount of times I have learned more from a video 
because often the video summarizes it better. When people are doing blog posts, they get a little bit carried away. You know, let me go through the theory and the history and how we got there and let's now problem solve it and here's what you want to do. No, just get to the point. You could argue that I took my time getting to the point with this. But when it comes to promoting your business, if you know there are content providers out there, I mean, look, we produce videos. You can get in touch with us. There's other influencers out there. There's other companies as well. If you're a bit afraid or you're not sure about how can you promote yourself, reach out. We could advise you. But if you've got a decent camera or you've got, you know, a decent microphone or whatever, and you don't even have to talk, you could just do a video where you're showcasing something and you've got some music playing in the background. There's so many ways you could start to form a connection with your audience where you show a bit more. So don't just say, hey, we've got a house to sell and you've got a photo outside the house. Actually take me through the house. And, and take the time to actually just explain it or what's the benefits of this room. Maybe show me someone in the room. I have seen accommodation photos and floor plans, right? And they got a picture of a sofa and I'm looking at it and going, I bet that sofa is just about big enough for two people. But they're making it look like by the style of the image that it's like a three, four seater sofa. So bring some realism into it. You know, if you've got a brand new drink, if you've got a brand new phone, a brand new whatever, just having someone, you know, fumbling it, fondling it, doing whatever you want to do with it. You're missing a trick. OK, I'm telling you now, I always like to put out about nine to ten social media posts a day. And I do think about what I'm putting out. I don't just rattle them off. I do think about them. And I will try and mix them up with mainly the majority are written. There might be one or two that might be an animated GIF. There might be one that is actually sales uh, post, which relates to our course or our, you know, content or videos or whatever. And then I will try and make sure that there's at least one that goes out every day at midday UTC, UK time midday. And it goes on TikTok. It goes on a YouTube short. It goes on LinkedIn and it goes on Twitter. I don't always do it on Facebook because we've got a Facebook group there and I don't like to bombard that with too much, you know, promotional stuff, etc. LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Now, oh, it's a YouTube short, sorry. Now, not everyone's going to watch it. Not everyone's going to engage. But I do that every day. All right. And that's one out of the nine, 10 posts. So nine other posts are not specific to that. And also the video does not have to be about you got to buy this. How about you just give a bit of advice, right? Let's say you sell cars. Why don't you put out a video about MOT stuff or uh, car tax changes or car insurance or about how to, um, you know, how to look after your car better? If it's accommodation, give them tips about traveling to your venue. Tell them about the location. What else is there in your location? You know, I mean, great. So I could stay at your accommodation, but then what? When I step out, then what? Where could I go? What are the restaurants like down the road? Maybe you're selling a course. Talk about the benefits. Maybe you can show off how you put it into practice. How easy is it to use? If you're a web designer or SEO or something like that, talk about what you do. Don't sit there saying, yeah, but if I show them how to use rank math or another tool, they're just going to go and do it themselves. Well, no, you haven't told them the ins and outs of everything. You could, still, you could still show them like a snippet of it or whatever. So I think that if you are not putting yourself out there on YouTube with some form of content, it doesn't have to be long form. It can be like, you know, vertical portrait, YouTube shorts or whatever. Not everyone is going to see them. Just like not everyone is going to see your normal social media post. Just like not everyone's going to see the leaflet you push through the door. Though they probably will, but they'll probably bin it as well. But if you are underutilizing the power of video promotional content, you are missing a major trick, right? There is a tidal wave with video content. We are viewing it more than ever. To be honest, though, whenever anyone says that more than ever, I kind of go, well, of course it is, right? It's because there's more people with smartphones and devices. Of course, you know, you know, it's like saying, well, you know, 100 years ago, no one was doing that. Well, yeah, we didn't really have smartphones then, did we? But 
don't miss the wave with getting your stuff out there. Contact us, contact people if you're struggling with putting together content or promotions for your courses or whatever product that you have at the moment. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.